Good afternoon Volvo fans, this is Jebby and today I'm shooting on location at Volvo Car Silver Spring and I'm going to explain to you everything that you need to know about charging an electric car or a plug-in hybrid car. So the first thing I want to start off is what exactly is the plug that is in here? The plug that is in there is sometimes called a J-plug or a CCS1 plug. CCS2s are what are used in Europe, CCS1 is what is used in the US and it's a common charging standard used by most cars out there except for a few brands like uh, Tesla and the Nissan Leaf as an example. Um, so you'll find this in most charging stations that are out there. This is a close-up of uh, what the charging port in a, both the uh, Volvo C40 as well as the XC40 recharges look like. So this only applies to full electric vehicles. If you are in a plug-in hybrid, you will only have this section here, which is your CCS plug, your level two charging. There is no DC fast charging available in a plug-in hybrid. And so if you pull this down, that's this entire connection is DC fast charging. It uses both the top and the bottom. And uh, so I'm actually just going to show you that on the right hand side here is your disconnect button and you have a little indicator light on the left hand side there. The indications that you will get when you plug in, you just push your connector in until you hear the click and it's gonna be yellow for a second. It's going to change to green once the power is coming through. There we go, so the power is coming through. In the event you uh, have scheduled charging, then this will stay yellow until the power actually comes through and to disconnect it's the opposite you just need to press this button once you'll need to have your key with you and then it pulls out after you have plugged in you will see this indication in your driver's display right in front of your steering wheel so on the top left you can see it says oh it completes at 10 13 I've set the limit there to 80% and I'm at 68%. You can see the charging speed, 15, 16 miles an hour. And at the bottom there, charging in for 30 out of 48 amps. The other place that you will get an indication is on your Volvo Cars app. So as you can see on my app, it says that, that I'm at 69% that you know, the doors are locked and I uh, currently don't have any preconditioning set. But if I click on this little charge button there, it actually says, oh, 69% and I will be finished at 1.58 p.m. If you are charging at a home charger or a public charging station, whether that be level two or three, your, they will usually have their own cable and plug with them. But Volvo has included a plug that I am showing you uh, below here. And this is in case you want to plug into an outlet. So the end that is closest to the back of the car there is where you have your CCS port. And the end that I'm pointing at right now is where you have a, uh, an adapter and you can connect into either a 120 or a 240 volt plug. So this is a close-up of the two plugs that you will get and uh, the one on uh, my left uh, or rather that's the right of your screen uh, is the 120 volt standard plug that you will find in the US and uh, the one that's going to be on your left is the 240 volt plug that you uh, get. In the US you actually do get two different types of this plug so if you're in a plug-in hybrid it might look a little bit different from this. It has one of these on the side. So just make sure you have the right plug for what you're trying to connect into. If you want to change between 120 and 240 volts, uh, there is an adapter and you'll see a little zero and a mark that comes down here. You just need to twist it around until you feel it go in and just push it straight in and let go. And it'll normally be a little bit offset if it is connected. To uh, remove it, just twist it, pull it straight out, and you can switch between 120 and 240 volt uh, plugs. Next, I'm gonna talk about level three charging. So level three charging is called DC fast charging. And uh, typically nobody has this at home. This is a DC fast charger box. They are ridiculously expensive. So 
usually people only use these uh, at charging stations and I want to show you the major difference of how it looks if you pull this out you can take a look and see that it uses not only the CCS port underneath it it has a DC port as well when you look inside your charging uh, port in the car when you pull this out the bottom there's a little cap then you can stick the whole thing in and once you stick it in like this your box will start initializing it'll start communicating with the car uh, and then eventually it'll tell you that hey it is charging and to remove it once again you press that button on the right I hope this video was helpful hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button thank you for watching and stay driving that Volvo